Every company and every industry is going through a digital transformation. That's the heart of what Hewlett Packard Enterprise is helping our customers do right now. Advertising and content marketing are no exception. So in that turmoil, we have to figure out a way to use the data, both to create better content, as well as find the audience that we're looking for who actually care about us. And so our digital revolution is twofold. It's both in terms of identifying and helping to create better content, as well as finding the eyeballs. Because right now, it's completely difficult and almost impossible to find the eyeballs without the data. Well, I mean, every, everything's a brand experience. I mean, unless you make it yourself, but even if you make it yourself, you're still telling a story and you're still representing someone, whether it's a story, whether it's an idea, whether it's a topic. You know, it really is just your partner and what the parameters are on it. Uh, I think a lot of times the notes I got in television were a lot more severe than the notes I've gotten from advertising clients. You know, but, but there, there's also different sets of rules. When you're making a piece of television, you're dealing with a conflict structure and a format you know, that has to last a certain amount of time, has to hit similar beats every week. Uh, the reason why I left television and started focusing more on branded content and commercials is because I love emotional structures. I think it's the most amazing thing is to structure an experience around how it makes someone feel. When you're doing content that's four minutes and under, you can really make that part of the story and really make, again, it more visceral and more experiential. So Andrew came in to meet with us and we realized really quickly that what we wanted to do as a, as a company and what he wanted to do as an artist met and intersected perfectly. We wanted to reach developers and people in technology in a truthful and relevant way and demonstrate to them that we, as a company, Hewlett Concord Enterprise, support them, support their vision, support their ideas, and champion technology and innovation everywhere in the world. And we understand the impact of that technology on lives and on the world. Well, you know, you're making a feature film, and feature films cost money. And usually when people give you money, they want to make it back. And I think a lot of times when you're doing a traditional feature film, there's a lot of pressure. And so it was actually, I felt much less shackled here because the goals, it didn't have to do with money, it didn't have to do with returns, it had to do with speaking to this audience and making an impact. They cared more about the film, like making you feel something, making you experience something, letting you see a world, than making sure that, you know, like Zac Efron was part of it, doing voiceover to get people to watch it. And so that, to me is like a great gift as a filmmaker. I never felt shocked, and anything I felt empowered. And to have that much trust and resources and no one ever over my shoulder, there was no video village, there was no one at monitors. You know, uh, the HPE team, if anything, the HPE team bailed me out of trouble. Most times, you know, I'm in San Francisco, I'm in the middle of the Silicon Valley week. You know, teams are getting prepared you know, and, and I needed help, or I needed to know about this person, or I need to get into here, and I could call them almost like, there were, I would say they were almost more like fixers than they were producers, uh, which again is, I think, as any filmmaker, if you were told that the people giving you the money to make your vision come to life were there to empower you and to give you the resources you need as opposed to putting restrictions on you, I don't know how anyone could turn that down.